Hey, glad you could make it. Greetings and well wishes, everybody. Ultra Director Jester here, and if you're hearing this, then congratulations! You've somehow managed to stay on this moist rock in the vacuum of space for another trek around a burning ball of gas and fire. Welcome to the arbitrary calendrical marking in history that some parts of the world call 2022! And speaking of arbitrary milestones, you know what else the year 2022 means for this guy? No! It means I've been doing Let's Plays for 10 freaking years! It's my YouTube decade anniversary Bonanza Vagants Extraordinaire! 2021 was certainly a big year for the channel. Probably even our biggest yet. Look at everything we fucking did this year! Sure, we may still be a very small channel with a bit of niche appeal and a hell of a long way to go to reach the dizzying heights of charmingly mediocre, but looking at these cool YouTube charts showing my annual progress, the data seems to be pointing in very encouraging directions, mostly. And that's great, because I've got plenty of stuff for next year that I literally cannot wait to get started on. So let's get started. Now that most of 2021's projects have concluded, a lot of my weekly schedule has cleared up. But sadly, no matter what way you slice it with this current algorithm, we gotta fill those spaces in somehow. So let's start with what's left over from 2021. Super Mario 3D World will resume tomorrow, and will still air on Mondays and Wednesdays. Yes, Bowser's Fury will be right after that. Digital Devil Saga will also resume this week, and will continue to air every Friday, with the on and off episodes scattered throughout. Yes, Digital Devil Saga 2 will air right after the first one. Alright, enough being around the bush. Let's get to the announcements, yeah? Check it. I've got not one, not two, but five different projects that I'm gonna announce today. So, uh, let's start with the most obvious one. Yeah, yeah, I know, I said I was gonna do Dread after Metroid Fusion, but yeah, well, now we're doing it, yeah. Metroid Dread will start this week and air every Tuesday and Thursday going forward. This one's co-op with me and the Niskel on hard mode with us switching control every time one of us dies. It's bound to be a lot of fun and it'll serve as a nice send-off to the Metroid series as a whole. Next, uh, let's talk the weekend series. Now that Donkey Kong 64 and Banjo-Tooie is completed, something's gotta take its place to fill the gap. The Niskel and I have some ideas in mind already, but uh, those are gonna take a lot of time to start first, uh, so they'll probably be way later in the year. So in the meantime, I'll be starting a brand new series with Violet. No, no, not the new one that just came out, the Telltale one! Yeah, did you know Telltale made a Guardians of the Galaxy game? Uh, I, I didn't. And this time, there's no Chris Pratt in the cast, uh, dated joke. Anyway, Saturdays and Sundays, Violet and I will be going through the choose-your-own-adventure-but-not-really-but-also-kinda-really style to the not-tied-to-any-existing-canon but still borrowing elements from certain sources that any schmuck can enjoy it even if they only saw the movie variety of Guardians of the Galaxy. We've already done a couple of episodes and it's turning out to be pretty sweet. No, seriously, we fight Thanos in the first chapter, basically. It's badass. Check it out, why don't you? Ah, well, that, uh, that fills up the week, doesn't it? No more need for any announcements, right? That could end things right here. But why go through all the whole song and dance of actually making a video for this anyway to stop right here? I mean, I am actively working on plenty of other series in the background, aside from all these. Might as well give a hint as to what's in the lab, right? Well, let's look a bit deeper into the future. Take a look at what series will come after. That's how far I planned ahead. Oh. So, anyway, after Metroid Dread, we'll need something to cleanse the palate. Instead of a dark sci-fi adventure, we're, we're gonna need a game that's so abominably cute, your eyes will start bleeding milk and honey, and your arteries will fill with cotton candy and hugs. Here is one of my absolute favorite games of 2021. It's Chicory! A colorful tale! Huh, you never heard of Chicory? It was nominated for a Game Award for Games for Impact. Uh, the guy who did Wonder Song teamed up with that one cool Minecraft composer lady. And the dudes who helped publish Night in the Woods, they're, they're publishing it. <laughs> well, you never heard of a Game Award? Chicory, A Colorful Tale was something that captivated me from start to finish. It's a game where you're a little doggo and you have to restore all the color to a world that's lost all of its color. And a deep corruption is taking hold of everything. It's beautifully crafted, it's oozing with excellent game design, and I just have to show it to you folks. It'll probably air sometime in late February or March, depends on what time Metroid ends, but trust me, this is going to be a really good one. I am very excited for this. 
And now, for a brief history of Ultra Director Jester. 2022 is my 10th year of doing these silly videos for YouTube. It all began on February 23rd, 2022. But anyway, to celebrate my YouTube decade I want to do something special. But what? Maybe I could do something Goemon related, I thought. So originally I was going to get this Japan-only PS1 game called Ganbare Goemon Oiro Daikaiten, which played exactly like Goemon's Great Adventure. And that was my first Let's Play, so it makes sense, right? I thought this would be a great idea, but it would have proven way too expensive, sadly. Ah well, maybe for the 25th anniversary. So, as a better, cheaper, and way more entertaining alternative, I'm going to go with this. No other series brought such joy and such cheer than the times I used Action Replay to mess around with Sonic Adventure 2 and Shadow the Hedgehog. And what better way to bring back that unmitigated chaos of using cheat codes to break a video game over its knee than with the polarizing Sonic Heroes. Personally, I hate this game. It's just the same game four times in a row, back to back basically. It's padded as shit! And you tell me the people hate it when Sonic's fringe always show up in his games, but the one with Charmy fucking B is the one that gets the green on Metacritic? Oh, and anyway, after we wrap up Bowser's Fury, whenever that is, we'll be doing the YouTube Decade of Servers with whatever extraordinaire in the form of using Action Replay to mess with Sonic Heroes on the GameCube. PS2 Action Replay doesn't work on this game. Alright, I gotta wrap this up. I feel like I'm taking too much time as it is, and I'm getting big narcissistic vibes from all this stuff. So, I'll just give you one more announcement. The thing is, it won't be ready for a while yet, so, uh, this is the last thing I feel comfortable announcing right now. This is another series that I'm actively working on that will premiere after Chicory finishes. Uh, you ready? Here it is. Archived. I kept thinking about Metroid Prime during the 2D games and didn't think I'd be able to manage them because I had so much problems with them when they came out, all those years ago. Turns out I can! I'm no longer a stupid babby and can play videograms like a big people. And when we've cleansed our eyes with bright colors and warm feelings with chicory, we're gonna dive right back into the deep, dark depths of Talon 4 with Metroid Prime. 2 and 3 will follow soon after, yes. So, I think that about covers everything, yeah? Got a big, hefty schedule of fun things in store, like I said. It's all starting this week, so I hope you all stick around for what I've got planned. It's gonna be great. Thanks so much, everyone, for watching, subscribing, just popping in, whether you just left because Nuts and Bolts wasn't on here. Just thanks for showing up and listening to my goofy jokes and wacky ramblings. I'm here to make my own comedy, so long as you peeps are here to laugh and enjoy it. Have a good 2022, everybody, and I'll see you on the channel. Stay safe.